You got some money, pay for this? Why would you do that? What? You invited me! What's going on, guys? Shaq Clips here once again, and today I see some crazy clips of the worst dates I can find. Now, like always, guys, my favorite clip will be at the end, so make sure to stay tuned all the way till the end to find it. But this first one is absolutely ridiculous. This woman has extremely high standards. It's made for your to, to uh, go out with you. I would say definitely over 500,000. So, like, US? a million. Yes, yes. But a million would be very nice, Carolyn. Yeah. A million dollars a year. So, that yeah. may, that's about, I think, $80,000 a month. Yeah. Okay. It depends. Anything is possible. Mm -hmm. like, what? Yeah, logic clearly doesn't work with them. They think that this money is gonna come out of thin air. Doctors don't make this much. So for her to have this expectation without having any thought behind it just makes no sense. If you ranked yourself on a scale of one to 10, what would you do? Yeah, let's get back to reality. No, I'm in reality. No, no, you're not in reality. I'm you're in not reality. A you're not in reality. I'm sorry, you I'm ain't not this combative, man. I'm if you really wanna say you're a 10, that's fine, but show me, no. where the, show me where the model contracts are. I don't wanna be a model. I, I didn't ask, ask you somebody, whether you want to be a model or not. Today, somebody asked me today. But you're not. But you man, you're not a. But you're not. But you're not that. Come on. But I would never, ever think to call myself a ten because I know I'm not a ten. Is I knew my best. I knew at my best. I was never a ten. I knew that. You could all say what you want, but the world reflects back what it is. And the best part about this clip is the fact that he used himself as an example. He is someone we would count as a high-valued man. And the fact that he even said himself that he's not even a 10 goes to show this woman is absolutely delusional. Just because you're confident doesn't mean you're a 10. And it definitely doesn't mean you deserve 10s as well. I don't want to take you out to coffee for a first date. They don't like you. Oh, here we are on this subject again. Why would he ask her out on a date in the first place if he didn't actually like her? The logic isn't working here. They just want to see if you'll be there so they can come back and pick you up and play with you whenever they want. A first date is basically just an interview to see if two people are compatible. Why throw a lot of money around just for that? That doesn't make any sense. They want to be your pen pal. They want to reach out to you when they're feeling like they need some type of emotional connection and they need to remind themselves that they're still alive, but they don't actually want to take you seriously. They don't want to take you anywhere. Something to consider. If one individual keeps encountering the same problem over and over again with different people, maybe the problem isn't the people. Maybe it's the common denominator. This woman is so worried about getting used up by these men that she's going on dates with when she completely has the choice to do it. You can still go on a coffee date and not do anything with the man afterward. This woman is trying to make a point that these men are trying to use her up and those kind of men are usually the ones who are not trying on the dates when it's complete BS. Stop blaming men for the actions you do. So money spent on, no, but you gotta earn it first. Oh. No? Mm. Damn, man. That's okay. She look like she just wanna cash that, please. Damn. The worst thing you've done over a man. Burn his house down. Yeah, just because she's old doesn't excuse anything. She's definitely for the streets. I do not accept a coffee or a walk as a possible date option and neither should you. First of all, I'm not a dog that needs to be walked. Second, I have an espresso machine at home. Works fabulous. So, um, would you like to grab dinner? Or do you have food at home? Hmm? How about you want to watch a movie or do you have a TV at home? What are you even arguing, man? Dates are supposed to be for getting to know each other. I don't want to get to know you. Keep to yourself. Keep that shit to yourself. Bye, bitch. Yeah, what is wrong with women and like simple dates? It's like the term dating doesn't have a meaning anymore. Do people not do those simple things like going on hikes, going to coffee spots, going for a walk in the park just to enjoy each other's company and just have a simple good time? Why does everything need to be with luxury and money? It's so superficial and fake. How many bodies you got? Why are you rolling up? It says like a bad question. I don't care. Oh! oh I know. <laughs> I really don't know. Like I haven't counted. And I can't remember. Damn. No, no, not like that, though. Oh, hell no. Yeah, if the girl's body count is three to five, trust me, she can keep track. But the moment getting like 20 to 30, that's when women start losing track. And that's exactly what happened with this girl. Go home with the guy, all right? Okay. Pulls down his pants, and it's this big. What are you doing? I'm not gonna speak on that because I respect men. You wouldn't want them saying that about a woman, be like, oh, her tits are too small. Right. You know what I mean? So that means I have a chance since um, I fit the criteria. Yeah, like two inches is pretty big, you know what I mean? Oh, shit, like. <laughs> 
I'm not gonna lie, that's probably one of the best answers I've ever heard. Finally, a woman who understands double standards. There's been a lot of females wonder why dudes don't try to holler at them anymore. It's not because you're ugly or anything like that, it's just that shit become so difficult. Back in the day, the worst thing we had to worry about was getting rejected. Nowadays, we gotta worry about getting screenshot, called thirsty, and the worst of them all, getting a video of us, getting rejected, put on the internet. Funny thing about the females who like to screenshot and call you thirsty is when a screenshot is coming from a text message conversation that y'all had. How thirsty can I possibly be if I already have your number? Y'all never fail to mention that he's thirsty, but y'all always fail to mention how he got- Yeah, this guy is 100% right. Nowadays, women just be recording and posting everything on the internet. Not only that, in a previous video I showed you guys, there was literally a woman who said, if a man is gonna approach me, at least pay Pay for something. At least pay for her gas. If he's taking up some of her time, at least pay her for it. Like when we hear things like that, why the hell would a man ever want to approach a woman? It doesn't make sense anymore. How much money should your man make a year, Heather? Eight figures. Eight figures. Okay, so that's ten million dollars. Yeah. Get that French toast out of here. How much do you want your man to make? I would like, yeah, like a successful entrepreneur who is making more money than me. The minimum baseline minimum. is six figure man. Minimum. Yeah. You guys are comfortable with being delusional. Absolutely. These women are just casually saying a successful entrepreneur like it's a simple thing to do. No entrepreneur is going to be marrying these kind of women. And if I'm not mistaken, these girls also do OnlyFans. So why the hell would a successful entrepreneur want you as his wife? Like, make it make sense. He could choose so many better women than you. Enough money in your bank account to take me on a date. Opinion rejected. If you ever see these kind of girls approach you on the beach, never take them seriously. So, I spent so long getting ready to see a boy. Literally, it just clicked in my head that, like, he doesn't care um, because I've been putting in so much effort to see him. I've just been not reciprocating that. He told me I was going to see him today. Um, I was supposed to see him at 6. I was supposed to see him at 4.30. He's just avoiding the whole thing of me. So, like, obviously, you don't care. But I took my time to get ready, did my hair, did my makeup. Um... And I think I look really cute. So the part I found fascinating about this clip is the fact that it took this woman a really long time for her to realize if the man actually liked her or not. Now, guys, if you guys are talking to someone and you guys are trying to figure out if this person likes you or not, like if they're playing a bit of mind games or you just can't read them correctly, they probably do not like you. If you always catch yourself texting them first and always see yourself putting in more effort, nine times out of ten, they just don't like you. It's super easy to understand when a person likes you or not. My 60s, people think that no one looks at you anymore. And the truth of the matter is, I have just as many people who want to sleep with me now as mm. I ever mm. did. <laughs> there isn't that thing when you walk in the room that every guy goes, ooh, because you're not as easy as you were when you were young and men recognize that's why they don't look at you as much. It's not because you're not as hot, My you're not as isn't... easy to... Oh, yeah and you're not as easy to get rid of, and you're not as easy to keep quiet, you're not as easy to dump afterwards, you're not as easy to be a side piece. It's not that you're not as hot, you're hotter, hotter. <sighs> because you're more relaxed, you're less concerned about, do I look great? You know you look great. It's not because you're not as anything, it's just because you're not as easy. Oh. Easy prey. Why did she say easy prey like we are? Yeah, this old lady really thought she made a good point. But the only point she really made was the fact that men just like to use her for who she is because she's super easy to get with. But not a single point she made was about her getting married. Yeah, sure, you can get a man to, I guess, just hook up with you. But can you keep him around? And can you get him to marry you? Absolutely not. Please, hold on, hold on. Before you take that, hold up. Why? I ain't bring my wallet. You got some money, pay for this? Why did you do that? What? You invited me. It doesn't matter because I saw you bring your wallet. That's right. No, I you didn't see me bring my wallet because I didn't bring it, bro. Yes, the only thing did. free is them chips. Now, if you ain't getting up, oh, you stingy motherfucker. You better, you better pay for this, Kishan. Weez, I'm not I paying for this. Pay. Have, right? I don't have nothing. Give me the chip. That's all we can afford to eat. Now, usually women like to make the argument that if the man asks you out on the date, then the man should pay. However, here we have an example of a woman asking a man out, yet she doesn't want to pay. Like, make it make sense. But that does wrap it up for you guys so much for watching. If you guys want more content just like this, please click links you guys see at the top of the screen. It does help my channel a lot. But see you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.